Okay, with us we have Coach Williams in the middle, uh, Kenny Malga on the far side, uh, Brian Alapei right here on your side. We'll have Coach to make some opening comments, and then we'll take a few questions. Uh, you know, it sucks that you know we didn't get the final outcome that we won. You know, the kids they fought extremely hard tonight. You know, we battled back from you know mistakes that we made, and you know we made it a ball game up to the last play of the ball game. So, like I said, we didn't get the result we want. Uh, fought hard all night, created turnovers, we ran the ball the way I would like for us to run the ball, controlled the line of scrimmage. We had two running backs that, you know, won over 100, won almost to 100, but at the end, like I said, won too many mistakes. And, you know, unfortunately, if we didn't come up with the outcome we wanted. What can you say about the way your team fought back, uh, especially after uh, they scored the touchdown in the third quarter to make it 28-13 after they were up in the passer call? It seemed like they were, they were you know, kind of starting to pull away there, but you guys kept on clawing back and eventually taking the lead too. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm happy that the way the guys fought. You know, we got a lot of younger guys that are stepping up and at the same time a lot of these older guys. Like, you know, I'm with two of them right now. Like, Vi battled all night, Kanai battled all night. so. We have multiple guys, you know, stepping up, and the future is bright here. So I'm definitely happy about the way that we continue to fight. And that's, I mean, that's what you're going to do at USC. You're going to fight on no matter what the circumstance is. Dante, past home games has gotten away from you guys. What was different about tonight? You guys were able to stay in it? Uh, the energy. You know, everybody says, you know, the, the most energetic team wins. But I'm not, I, I think it's the most positive energy. You can have energy, and it can be fake, but it needs to be positive energy. And tonight, no matter what, you know, the guys that weren't even suited up, they had energy all night. And, you know, the team stuck together. When we came in there at halftime, you would have thought that we were up by 21. Just the positive energy that the guys were providing, you know, before the game, halftime. And, you know, like I said, it, it, I, I hurt for them tonight. Some losses, you know, you just, you don't really hurt. Tonight, I, I extremely, I'm, I'm, I wish I could have did maybe one thing more than what I did. By Kanai, where, where do you feel like that energy came from tonight after it wasn't there in other games? I feel like we found that energy within each other and the coaching staff and just everybody on the sideline. Coach Dante really preached, you know, since he took over, just about bringing positive energy, not from just, you know, the coaches or the players, but it has to be everyone involved, staff included, training staff, anyone who's um, associated with the USC football team has to bring that positive energy. And uh, today we did a great job of doing that. Of course, we didn't get the outcome we wanted, but um, the way the, the guys fought today, I can honestly say I'm, I'm proud to be their team captain. Coach, uh, talk about the play of your offensive line today. Uh, you know, I think they did a good job control line of scrimmage. You know, we, we started out a little slow, but as the game started going and we started getting a rhythm, you know, Graham did a good job calling plays and the two backs went in there and they ran hard, but the old line blocked, even the tight ends. And we had some good blocks out there on the perimeter. So I'm really pl proud of the way that the team, like I say, continued to fight, continue to battle. Everybody knows BYU is a big physical team. And tonight, you know, even the way that we were hitting around, you know, we, they were the guys that, you know, I, I thought we were more physical than them, which is, you know, shocking for a BYU team. Like I say, it just sucks that we didn't get the outcome we wanted. What was your frustration with the roughing the passer penalty, and how did you re kind of regroup the guys after that? Uh, I mean, I, I was frustrated because, you know, it was a 14-point swing, in my opinion. You know, we would have had the ball in good field position, and instead, you know, a penalty's called, the turnover's wiped off, and they go down and score a touchdown. So that was a huge play in the ball game that, you know, swayed momentum the other way, and the kids continued to fight no matter what happened. Oh, you had a touchdown tonight. You had a pick. What does it mean for you guys to make those big highlight moments? It felt great, but everything is a team effort. And, you know, I don't get in that end zone if everybody doesn't block their guy. And Kanai, I'm pretty sure Kanai doesn't make that pick if the D-line doesn't get to him or Isaac Taylor Stewart comes up to disrupt the play. So, yeah, we got credit for the play, but at the end of the day, there's 11 guys on the field, and those plays don't happen without everybody executing their assignments. So, like I said, I'm just proud of the guys, you know, and uh, it was a really emotional game. But I feel like we, we were able to stay level-headed throughout the calls and, uh, you know, not let that affect our, our play and our energy on the sideline and uh, within the game. Well, as an offense, we fed off the, the defensive uh, plays and uh, it gave us momentum coming into a drive.
Bonnie, what's it meant to you to play a bigger role down the stretch here after kind of losing touches in the middle of the season? Um, it means a, <clears throat> it means everything and like I said, uh, no one gets the credit without everyone doing their job on the offense. And, you know, it's humbling, but it was a great experience, you know, to test where I was as a human being. And, you know, I learned a lot from Keontae and everybody in the room to, you know, just be ready. And, you know, it's a team effort. Everything, everything we do, it's not just, you know, for individual success, it's, it's, it's team success. And uh, I took pride in being a, in starring in whatever role the team was asked, whatever role I was asked to do for the team. And I, and I loved it, every moment of it. And, you know, uh, I'm gonna soak up this last week with each, each and every one of them, coaches included. And uh, I mean, it's a game. <laughs> Gotta have fun playing this game. And regardless of what the outcome was every game, I can honestly say, Every game I went out, played my heart out, and just like everyone else did, and you know, we had fun playing this game. Last question. Uh, well, you know, it's a little different because it's, uh, I mean, this is Thanksgiving weekend, so you know, you got a lot of, you know, USC, the student sections, and a lot of people are gonna go home around this time of year. So BYU, they're always gonna travel well, right? So they travel well, and I, I think, you know, the, the Trojan Nation, you know, fed off that a little bit. You know, when BYU got a little loud, our crowd got into it too and got loud to, to let them know that this is this is USC's home. This is the Coliseum. And, you know, we're gonna get this thing back on track and make sure people that understand this is not Pac-12 after dark, this is USC after dark. And we're gonna do the things that we need to do to turn this around and create the, the outcome that we all wanna see. Thank you guys for coming in, appreciate it. Thank you, fight on. Yeah.